Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to your third Word 2010 tutorial, and today I'll be going over styles and editing. Okay, so first of all, you know, if you want different styles for this word, you can just highlight these and uh, click the drop down menu over here. And there's a lot of them over here. There's, as you can see, like a dozen of them. And uh, if you're not happy with them, you can always click Apply Style. And here, here's like a massive amount of styles available for you to choose. And you can kind of experiment them all. But yeah, so I won't go be going over all of them as it's going to be like boring and stuff. So let's say I want a uh, subtitle. And now it changes to this really cool cursive writing text. And uh, yeah, so if you want to highlight this, click change style and style sets. There's a different style over here. So distinctive, elegant, fancy, whatever. And uh, don't worry about colors and fonts. You're like never going to use them. It's yeah, just don't worry about them. Styles, so here are different styles, and uh, so that's basically it for styles. Okay, so now going over to editing. Let's say I you have this. Let's say you have this uh this little sentences, and you click you you said Bob 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 Bob, and then at the end of those sentences you're like oh darn it it's not Bob. It's supposed to be, let's say, John. And it's going to be really annoying trying to delete all the bobs and change them to John individually. So what Word 2010 incorporated and is really helpful is replace. Okay, so to do this, you have to highlight all the text. Click replace. And over here it says find what. It's Bob, so you want to replace Bob and replace with, let's say, I want to replace it with replace it with John okay so now it's all set you can click replace all yes okay and um, as you can see all the bobs has been replaced with John and uh, find is just just you can find text in here so let's say I want to find basketball wait let's say I want to find basketball so it has to find basketball for me. So this is just like automatically locating the word. It's kind of helpful if you, I don't know, if you just want to find the word in the paragraph. And um, so that's basically it for this tutorial. And um, I'll see you next time.